Here's a beat up Clyde the Glide card. I'm sure I could find some sucker to buy this one. Ooh, bubble wrap phone. Hello? Hey, is this my arch nemesis, Brandon Stubbins? Yeah, obviously this is Scott at Reindeer Studios. Hey, I know we're mortal enemies and all, but I want to extend the proverbial olive branch, so to speak, and give you a sweet deal on a sweet basketball card that is so near and dear to my heart. You know I'm the world's biggest basketball fan, right? I think he's buying it. Yeah, yeah, I was looking through my super extensive basketball collection and I came across this really great Clyde Drexler card just for you. Yeah, it's a uh, 92 Tops All-Star. Right. It may have a teensy weensy itty bitty tiny whiny little crease, so I can let it go for say $400? Are you sure? I mean, it is a pretty great deal. Okay, because I feel bad for always picking on you, how about $40? No, okay. Uh, how about $40 and I'll stop picking on you for an entire week? Still now, okay. Uh, $40 and a Clyde the Glide marker doodle. But I still get to pick on you, right? All right, you drive a hard bargain, but you got a deal, sir. Hey, super friends, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. So a lot of you know, but some of you may not, a few years ago I randomly pegged Brandon Stebbins as my arch nemesis. And if you don't have an arch nemesis, you really should get one. It's great to have someone that you can devise nefarious plots against. Nefarious plotting is the best, man. And after you get a few under your belt, you can get away with some trickeration. Like Brandon might be wondering if I'm gonna sabotage this drawing somehow. Maybe lace it with some mind altering drugs or something and really trip him out. And I might, and I might not. Either way, I can rest easy knowing that he's going to sweat it out. And another thing about having an arch nemesis is getting to perfect your evil laughing. Now, we never discussed whether he was the good guy and I was the bad guy, or if he was the bad guy and I'm the good guy, but I totally don't mind being the bad guy because nothing beats evil laughing. It picks the spirits right up. Do it with me. <laughs> oh, I got a little carried away there. Sorry. Now, some of you may be like, but Scott, I thought Alexa was your arch nemesis. And I agree, she is an evil mastermind, but I would classify her as just a plain old nemesis. You know, like, Brandon is my Batman's Joker, but she might be my penguin. But I thought I would be Catwoman. Meow. Quiet, you. But the big point is, life is always better when you've got an arch nemesis. In high school, I had Jesse Jones, not the Marvel Jessica Jones, mind you, but that would have been pretty cool. Uh, in college, it was the heinous Allison Hess. And then for years after college with no nemesis, I kind of had no purpose, no focus, no nothing. It was all just a pointless blur, except for, you know, getting married and having a kid and all that kind of stuff, but whatever. But now I've got Brandon and I am living the high life, let me tell you. And since I am such a terrible person, how about a terrible joke? What is the difference between Iron Man and Aluminum Man? Well, Iron Man stops the villains, Aluminum Man is always foiling his plans. <laughs> All right. Does anyone else love the way that British people say aluminium? Oh, you know what? I have not said a thing about Clyde Drexler. Oops. He uh, played for the Blazers and the Rockets, and he was on the Olympic Dream Team, if I remember correctly. He's probably in the Hall of Fame or something. Hey, look at that. I'm all done. All right, there's Clyde the Glide. I did have fun with this one. It was neat doing something a little different. And of course, Brandon will never know if I planted some sort of super secret high-tech audio surveillance device in the paper here somehow. Two blips closer to my Cy Young card today. Thanks, Brandon, so very much for asking me to do this, buddy. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we will catch you next time. Unless I get my well-deserved comeuppance. Ooh, I like that word, comeuppance.